Hey everybody, how is it going? I actually had a good day for once, and I'm actually really happy with some news later on tonight. But for now, uh, it's time to continue and hopefully finish Donkey Kong Land tonight. Uh, I think we're actually really close to the end that the percentage for completion is anything to go by. Yep, 63%. We're, almost, oh, we're over halfway done with the game. Also, a part of me kind of got a little uh, worried there for... Oh, that's how you uh, change worlds. I thought you couldn't. Insert the entire DK rap here. <laughs> God, could you imagine like a Game boy version of the DK rap? I'm sure it probably exists somewhere. As I was saying, uh, from the looks of things, this looks like it's starting to get very linear in terms of levels. Oh no. Oh no, that wasn't supposed to be taken as a challenge pro tag. Let's see, that was linear. Oh, I, I can't figure out what the right button for it is. Oh well. Alright. Walnuts, peanuts, and coconut <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Alright, I need to remember the layout. We got pretty far into this level, but then we just kind of uh, died at the very end, so... I need to remember where everything is. If I remember right, it was basically just a lot of platforming and a really, like, precise thing with these stupid balloons. I still wish there was a place around this late into the game where I could go and spend all these coins because I have to be sitting on a treasure trove at this point. Oh, nope. See if I can actually get all the coins this time around. I think we accidentally. Uh, fell off one time, and we missed out on some of the coins. I also need to t make a mental note of all these bonus barrels, because Kong also hides in some of these bonus levels, and sometimes even it's just that's where they're placed, and there's no challenge to them. It's just, oh, hey, here's the letter. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Oop. And a two. Ooh. Ah, damn it. Alright, did he? There's K. Yeah, that's going to be happening a lot in, in this world. Me over overcorrecting myself and ended up falling off the ledge. There we go. There we go. Really precise with the timing for that guy. Oh, just barely. Uh. Doesn't, doesn't sound like the DK Land sound fun. Well, I mean, there's like some things you can you can just take the DK rap and then just like uh, downgrade the sound quality until it sounds like it belongs on a Game Boy. Oh, this is gonna be a fun level. I can feel it in my bones. Right, I forgot to grab DK. I'm an idiot. Oop. 
I can do that, but that's a lot of effort. Found the DK Rap uh, MIDI, so I was hoping to just convert the sound font over to DK Land for most authentic sounds. <laughs> Try, try uh, uh, ch converting the sound font to like the Donkey Kong Country uh, for the Game Boy Color. Then that's that's a good like alternative. If it even exists, I don't even know if it exists or not. Oh boy! There's so. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I hate precision platforming like this. Oh, bye. saw that. Nothing happened. Right. Something tells me there's something up there with the, with the bananas. Nope, just bananas. Uh, I think this is the. I think it was either this or it was with a barrel. Oh, just one banana. One banana, please. I think this is the one. Yeah. Yep, there it is. Wow, I actually made it that time. Oh no, not this thing! No! God, I hate those platforms. Oh, don't tell me. That's where N was hiding, wasn't it? Well, I get another chance to find out now. I honestly didn't mean to drop off the ledge there. Something tells me N is hiding up in that bonus barrel. I think we only got uh, K and O. This time, don't even bother with the coins, just go for... How am I even supposed to... There we go. See what I need to do. Right, let's try to do nope, too late. Damn it. This one seems to be really uh, finicky right now. Nope, not yet. It's still too soon.
There we go. Alright, am I right in the... And it's hiding up here? Yep, there it is. Of course, I gotta do this again. Got it! Get me the hell out of there. How am I supposed to get G, though? I can't bounce off the B, so I guess I just need to... time this just right. Unless I... Sometimes I've been able to bounce off the B in this game, which is weird, because those are usually, like, uh, insta-hit enemies. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. I'm getting the hell out of here. Okay, DK can just have his own airship. Is that how he gets through these worlds? Okay, something's not right. Why why are all the letters right here? G? Like a, a special bonus level or something? What the hell is this thing? Huh. Okay. Interesting. Damn you, naughty. It's the good DK year blimp. Oh, so that's the gimmick of this level. You gotta collect calm and they build platforms. So how will I know when I get the true con at the end of the level? Damn it. I thought I had DK with me. Not this time. Tells me I probably. Oh, that's why. So I have to tank a hit for this one. I wonder if you actually do have to spell all of Kong, or is it just however many letters you get uh, before you press the button? I don't see how it's... Okay. Hey, Moon. How am I supposed to get that one? Unless I do need to have both DK and Diddy for this and sacrifice one of them when I grab the G. Okay, safe drives, Moon.
This almost seems like a really fun speedrun level to do. Not this time, pig. No! Mmm. You know what? I'm actually going to test that theory. Is it only just the number of letters you get? Well, can't test that theory now. Seriously, I have no idea how I'm supposed to grab that. Oh no. What'd you do, Protag? I'm scared. So yeah, it is only whatever letters you get. Grab that. Trying to GBA sound fine. Doesn't do the. Oh no! There we go. That is really precise. Holy hell. Finally, a rest for my eyes. Oh, no, they're doing it again. Hang on. We need to hear this. You know what? For this level... It almost doesn't even sound like, uh, DK music. Screw you, game. Oh no, I gotta do this thing again. sound fun, so it's not really DK music. I, I know what you mean, Protag. I'm just saying, like, it sounds like... Not gonna lie, with the gif you also put in there with it, it sounds like something from a Toy Story game. Also, that's a pretty good gif, by the way.
It gets repetitive. Oh! I didn't even see him there. Oh, I just now saw the gif. Alright, let's get back to the game. But it actually sounds pretty good for uh, converting a, a moderate, like an N64 game to a GBA sound for, uh, font. Well, I got in! Jeez, this level's actually a bit of a challenge. Now I gotta do this entire level with just Diddy. Be better if I had I was stuck with DK. I probably should have swapped to Diddy first. Because at least with those armadillos, DK, even if they're rolled up into a ball, still is able to take them out. Diddy, you have to wait until they unroll themselves. It's weird that that uh, checkpoint doesn't have any DK barrels associated with it. Usually they always put one with the check. I hate this game. Not only do they hide a DK barrel there, but they also hide, hide O there as well. I think this is the last one as well. Damn it. Oh, I just grab it. I thought I had to bounce off the pig up there. Yep, that was the last Kong. Alright, 70%. This must be like the last like level level or second to last. Especially with such a big challenge this is. I knew it. I knew it. How am I supposed to get that though? That's just death down there. That was for that was only for a coin. There we go.
Oh, finally. I think that was, a, that was the most generous checkpoint I've gotten so far in this game. Wait, hold on, I had Diddy with me. How did I still, uh... Okay, I still need to keep jumping. I think I need to sacrifice DK, and if that's the case, I'd rather sacrifice Diddy. Nope, jumps over him! That's a good thing, it was only Diddy who was sacrificed. Or not. Oh no. Oh, there's G. And there's the exit portal. It's weird how, how much this game glitches out at times. Like, it seems like only like the barrels seem to be the most glitchy thing in this entire game. Oh, great. Back in the airship again. Oh, I saw something down there. Can't hide those bananas from me. I need my potassium, damn it. Oh, finally, one of these. That's not exactly what I wanted, but okay. What's well, a good thing I got that one up? That works too, I guess. Sure loves its barrels, huh? Okay, I don't know what the point of that barrel was, but at least I know that I can't overshoot that end.
Wow, when they overshoot you in this game, they really overshoot you. Against my better judgment. Yep, I knew it. All that for G. Hey, we got the one up as well. of things one two three levels and then the boss I don't even know what the hell the boss of this world would be Stupid. Uh, game. Undershot. I don't even know I was even going for those bananas. It's only like three bananas each. Tells me there's something down here for me. Yep, there it is. Thanks, game, for not informing me that there's gonna be bees up ahead. So well in that world too. Wait, no. There we go. That's what I thought. Don't try to pull a fast one on me, game. Boxes for those things are not good at all. I 
saw something over there. Yep, there we go. Whoever's not even supposed to go with that one. background, so that wasn't a ledge I could jump on. Was that just a, a trap hole then? Ah, damn it. That was going so well, too. Damn it, DK, when you're, when you're at the pole, you're supposed to grab it, not look at it funny, and fall to your death. Wow, after all this, I still forgot I had Diddy with me. might actually be a, a better level for to be anyways so it might be a blessing in disguise or not Did it? Come on.
Okay, okay. That's fine. It's not like we even got to the first checkpoint anyways, so it's not like I lost a whole lot of progress in that level. see that like line of bananas dropping down here I think oh I need to hit this hard enough that there will be like a rope coming out or something because it's not like it's too high up that you don't know where you can land You were supposed to roll. What the hell? Or maybe I need to immediately jump. I can't roll into him. I also need to remember to run to grab that balloon every time. And I'm not... S this has to be just like a, a trap or something because I do not see anything for me to jump onto up here. There you are. Oh, finally there's a checkpoint. Oh, bananas. Go, 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 jump! Didn't even think that would work. Something doesn't feel right. I feel like I might have uh, missed N in this level. get to the other rope. Hey, dragon. Seriously, it feels like I I've missed N in this level. Hey, Daisy. I don't even know. Where's this thing supposed to be shooting me to? It doesn't let me react to the B right here. There's a lot. Yep, I missed N. Damn it. Now, do I take the L and go back and try and find it? Oh, maybe that's to shoot myself back over here. 
Hey, you know what? I'm just gonna die. Okay, well, we know N is hiding somewhere in this part of the level. I think I might know where N is hiding. It's a gamble, but I think he's hiding down there. Please let me be right. Nope, nothing over there. Where could it be hiding? Maybe something with the bees? Wait, is that a... No, that's background. Maybe I need to go high with the bees instead of staying low. That's why it's uh, pulling me down to them. Yep, there it is. Aha. Ooh. Some streamers tonight. We've got a game called The Climb. It's very pretty, but also scary. The mountain it's a mountain climbing game. It's for the Oculus. Ugh. Dragon, here here's the thing. I don't do well with heights, so that's probably akin to a horror game in my eyes. Doesn't mean if I ever do get a VR set, I, I won't play it. again. And we are done. Whew. Alright, that seems to be the gimmick for this level. Find the button, press the button, and then go wherever the barrel shoots you. Something tells me, though, that one of these buttons I'm not supposed to press to get one of the letters. Get used to it's the achievement name, that's pretty good. <gasps> that's actually pretty good using the bonus barrels at, or using this as a makeshift bonus barrel.
Oh, that was actually a pretty good level, and also pretty short for this game's standards. When it fell a second time, it gave the achievement. You don't get the achievement for dying twice. You don't get an achievement for dying twice, even though you technically do. There must be only be a handful of levels for the final area then. Because we're all already up to 80% done with the game. Or 80% done in completion services. Tells me this was the way I was supposed to go. All right, doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, well, if that's the case, then let me try and go to the right then, because I think there was like a little alcove I could go into. Okay, just wanted to check. Okay, that's all boarded up, so there was nothing I was missing. Alright, that one's just burning all the time. Alright, there's K. No one saw that. Like, what's this? Oh yeah, you gotta jump gaps to get to the other ledges, and it's terrifying. The first stage is literally, you have to jump off a log that starts breaking. Oh god, that sounds like anxiety, the game. Okay, good. It's not one of those levels. The timing for that is really weird. check something. Okay, I thought there was like a, a ledge down there. Oculus only. They announced the sequels. They want to try the game out. Are, are both uh, Oculus only, or is the first one also on Steam? Because I didn't know if you if you were talking about the game itself or the sequel. Yeah, since it's developed by Oculus themselves. Okay. Both games are Oculus. Okay, just wanted to understand. I don't know why I did that. God 
damn it. Timing on that's weird. Usually when it's something like this, I rely on music uh, cues to tell when the things are going to change, but since there's like a s second or a half second delay between what I'm hearing from the stream and what is actually playing from the game itself, it's hard to tell. Let me try this. Ooh. I think, I'm, actually, you know what? I think there was a DK barrel right before this B. Okay, not worth getting the DK barrel. Oh, wow, there's like, you need to be like really precise with your timing with these jumps. There we go. Ooh, nah, damn it. Wasn't fast enough. Isn't the plot of this game that Cranky said DK and Diddy's whenever K. Rule was a fluke and they couldn't do it again, so he makes a deal with K. Rule to steal the banana horde again and kick to kick off the game. I don't know. There's not really, like, a preview of this. It might be in, like, the manual or something, but I only got the game cartridge. If I run out of lives a after this run, then uh, we'll go to intermission and I'll look at the plot of this game. So Diddy rises to the heavens, awaiting his friend DK to meet his doom. Yeah, that, something I really like about this is whenever you free DK or Diddy, they just ascend to the heavens above. It's like, you finally saved my trapped soul. It's been in that barrel for many of age. part about that was the fact that there was a DK barrel sitting right uh, behind that oil drum. There we go. Damn, I could... DK's is honestly the better one. Gotta get a bit of a running start for this one. I had it there. Just overshot my second jump. That was too soon. There we go. <sighs> Task made devil the way back to the continue. Now someone just needs to make, like, a sound effect of 
Kaz sounds, but with, like, DK sound effects. Like, just use the sound bits from the Donkey Kong Country Return series. And even, I'll permit, jump, Jungle Beat. No! I feel like we're at the very end of the level. In fact, there's a crusher right, at the, right across from there. If you were Diddy, you're screwed. Is that just for the Crusher, then? Because we already got Kong. It could have been for that guy, because you can't carry barrels up uh, those ropes. Nah, I don't have... Wow, they don't even give you a DK barrel. Uh, DK-64. Okay, I'll permit DK-64. But oh, wow, no DK barrels for the rest of this level. That is mean. a small bunny hop there. It just ends with a slowdown. Ooh, banana. Also, anxiety to game, I swear. Can't break that down, so I don't know why there is a TNT barrel right there, unless you just really don't like that Crusher. That was the end of the level. Hi, Moon. Alright, what is the boss of New Donk City? What? Okay, hi, Karu! I wasn't expecting to see you here! I don't know why he didn't run. This is like fighting Dragon and Smash all over again. Him and his damn crown. Okay, Rule, no offense, but you're kind of a pushover. Also, a lot smaller in this game. Nope. Oh! I think he heard me and took offense. 
Because I don't... It's to assert dominance like the royalty I'm playing as. <laughs> Still not doing his body slam. Now he is! That was a straight up panic. Okay, that should have counted, but whatever. <laughs> Double attack. Let's try this again. There's three. I gotta count on how many attacks I do so I know when he starts going into his flying body press. Six. Nope, not yet. I think it might be eight. I think he... No, he might act... Yep, there it goes. Okay. Oh, am I supposed to land on him as he's doing his body slam? Because it doesn't look like he has a crown on when he does it. K rule out of nowhere. Oh no, he's getting on the top ropes. Is he? Is he? He's going for the body slam. doing it I think I'm actually nope now he's throwing his crown again oh he is a lot faster now though damn I should have jumped again It's just a matter of recognizing his patterns. he was doing his body slam that time. Now he is. No, he actually still has his crown on, by the way. 
I thought his crown like disappeared off his head when he does his body slam, but nope. Nope, he's doing it. Damn it. Oops, nope, nope. Don't go back to this level. not go for him. Let's actually uh, do this and then just bounce on him when he charges at us. I think that's probably a better alternative. And safer. Because at least it will give me some time to judge if he's doing his body press. Or if he's throwing his crown at me. He charges at you and does it. Okay, good to know. And he's faster when he runs. Oh, God. into him when he runs. Don't jump away. Took too long to register with me. Ah, oh, damn it! I was bouncing, I was jumping away when I hit him. There was no recovery from that. six jumps before he went back to throwing. Alright, that's good to know. Dragon is right. Six. Yep, it's six. Six jumps! Hurt. Okay, let me try this strategy. Yep, there we go. That's what I'm supposed to do. Ah, damn it. Undershot it. 
All right, we're getting we're getting a better understanding of him. Had I not undershot that, we might have had this fight. Unless it was a third phase, in which case, oh god. How fast can he get? Okay, that didn't count. I'm alright with that. Congratulations! That's it, game over. Whew. But that's kind of weird. Uh, we're done with the game, but. And we got all the cons in the level, but we don't have 100% in the percentage status. So is there like a bonus world in this game, or is there something else I'm missing? Like, was I also supposed to get all the, the Kong coins in the level as well? well? We'll see. Nope, that's it. It's a DK GB game. Get the get out of here. You won. I know. I guess it might also be uh, all the Kong coins, because there were some flashing and there were some with exclamation marks. I'm gonna guess the exclamation marks means you got everything in the level. But oh well. Let's go to intermission, shall we? Alright, first game of 2021 is done. Now, as I said, uh, if we actually beat a game early and we have time, we'll jump into the next game that was on the list. And hey, we uh, have plenty of time. We have basically when I would normally start a stream. Oh yeah, I'm going to look up the plot while I take a break. So, I have some news to announce. Unfortunately, the, the PS2 can no longer play any uh, PS2 discs, or it can play a very select few. I took it to my friend today, and he went over it. He found out what the issue was, and it's the fact that the laser reader is not getting enough power anymore. It's slowly starting to die. It can still read CD discs, which is what PS1 games and a small handful of PS2 games use. So if it's like a black disc, or if it's a blue disc, or anything that the PS1 uh, runs on, I think they're all either black and blue because those are CD discs, it, run it, it runs it fine. However, DD, DVD discs, which is what a majority of the PS2 games run on, cannot be read anymore. So I got another one! And that's what we're going to be doing tonight. We're going to jump into what the true winner of January's game clearing was, and we shall start Warhammer 40k Fire Warrior next. I think you can place the laser reader, because PS2's trouble reading it. Uh, I, I'll look into it, but for now, uh, we I got a backup PS2 that was actually super cheap, so yeah. We're going to be actually playing the official game of January now. So, I'll go get that set up. Uh, I'll also look at the plot of D Donkey Kong Land while I'm at it. And when we get back, we'll get started, shall we? Where the hell is this music from? Uh, this, it might sound familiar, it's a, a remix of the main theme for the Channel Dragon. It's something Popsky, uh, who made the theme, uh, did for intermission music.
All right, and I'm back. All right, before we jump into Warhammer, I need to go over the plot of Donkey Kong Land because apparently Dragon said it was kind of stupid or just kind of ridiculous. So the plot uh, found in the game's booklet, as I thought it was. The story takes place directly after the events of Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong, Diddy, and Cranky are shown reflecting on their previous adventures. Out of jealousy, Cranky scolds DK and Diddy for about the success of Donkey Kong Country, implying that it only did so well because of the elaborate graphics and the sound of the Super NES. Irritated, Donkey Kong and Diddy explain that they've earned their success because of the fun gameplay and not just the graphics and sounds. Mischievously, Cranky teases the Kongs that they could not replicate the success of their past games on a monochrome 8-bit handheld, causing Donkey Kong and Diddy to accept his challenge. His plan to fool them complete, Cranky explains that the following day he will have called K uh, Kirul and his Kremlings to steal Donkey Kong's bananas and scatter them across Donkey Kong Island. Determined to prove Cranky wrong, Donkey Kong and Diddy head out to defeat Kirul and the Kremlings. So... Like I said, it's kind of dumb, and I love uh, back in the day when uh, Donkey Kong games were like that self-aware about uh, the fact that they were games and on consoles and such. All right, uh, I need to do something real quick, and then we can jump right into Warhammer. Give me just a second. best type of dumb. It's basically my type of dumb. Alright, let's swap on over back into the game. Hey, don't call me out even though it's true, Moon. So, I my only like knowledge into the Warhammer series is I played Space Marines when it was on the 360 and that was it. I've watched a couple videos that talk about like uh the races and all that stuff in this game. I've never played any of the other games. I've never gotten any of the models or played any of the, like the the board strategy games. Sent the trailer. Yeah, I saw that. It looks anxiety inducing. Ah, uh, good old Kuju. I think this was before Battalion Wars, so I wonder how they were able to handle a first person shooter. Well, you can see how accurate this is to uh, Warhammer stuff then, Protag. And if not, you're free to criticize it. The cradle of mankind. Here is Terra, known to antiquity as Earth, the heart of the Imperium of Man. An empire of a million worlds, the Imperium stretches across the galaxy. Besieged by aliens and monsters, Attacked from within by heretics and rebels, for 10,000 years it has endured, protected by fleets of warships and legions of genetically engineered warriors. It is the 41st millennium, and there is only war. But no hammers. Contact with the latest threat to the Imperium was made here, a star cluster in a distant spiral arm. The race is young, Vigorous and technologically advanced. They call themselves the town. Why do I get a feeling there's gonna be a lot of calling out of heresy for me playing as a different species? The only thing I know about the Tau is that in the board game they're really good at like range combat, but they have Straight up garbage, like close range melee combat. In that, also the fact that they also pilot Gundams uh, in the series and also are a bunch of space weebs. There's no fire warrior. Do you want to create? Yes. Oh. 
come to 20, I think. Oh, come to 14. That's good. That is next Thursday. All right. First things first, let's go to options. Let's see. Audio good. Stereo. Okay. Is it video then? White screen. Oh, there is actually a white screen option. Calibrate colors. Confirm. Game subtitles automatically on, so that makes it a good game. All right, let's get started. All right, we'll just go with normal mode because, well, easy's easy and hard isn't even unlocked. I guess you have to beat the game at least once to unlock hard mode. And new game. Training, yeah, I might as well understand how to play this. Welcome, Fire Warrior. This training zone will allow you to practice your skills. So many things on screen. Ah! Follow the instructions to the end of the orientation course. Welcome, Fire Warrior. If you wish to leave training at any time, press the star. Oh, God, hold on. Controls. Ah, uh, gross. Vibration on, auto aim, auto aim. And movement sensitivity. All right. All right. Oh, so much better. First, practice moving and looking around. Use the left analog stick to move forward and backward, left and right. Use the right analog stick to turn left and, right and look up and down. If you wish to invert the pitch of the right analog stick... I can't make heads or tails of the ship we're on. Are, are we sitting in an engine, or is this the front of the ship, and this is the engine? And if so, then why is there one engine uh, facing that way and the other facing that way? The next room. There is a button by the next door. Go up to the button and press the next button. Open the door. Oh, uh, yep, we must be in the engine. To open the next door, you will need a key. Find the key and pick it up by moving over it. Once you have it, you can pass through the next door. Uh, so if you pick up a key, it is shown on your visor. L1 key. is the jump button? Really? Now we will practice the jump and crouch control. The L1 button will allow you to jump over gaps and objects. The L2 button will allow you to duck for cover and crawl under low obstacles. Try using these controls. Through the next door, there is an obstacle course for you to try. Welcome to the skill. Alright, which one of us is the imposter? I think it might be him. Run at it and press the L1 button before you reach the edge. The faster you run, the further you will jump. Is there a sprint button? You Doesn't look like practice. it. Loop. Try again. Uh, loop. You need more practice. Ahead Gee, of thanks. Is a ladder. To climb the ladder, go to the foot of it and look up. You will be able to move onto the ladder. All right, so it operates on like Half-Life logic. You are this screams half. Ladder. I like that we both had the Put same the uh, thought. There, dragon. You will be able to climb down it. Uh, it's still disorienting when it comes to going down ladders. To move under this obstacle, you will have to activate the L2 button. For this next section, you will need to use the crouch and jump controls to get through. Ooh, okay. You are approaching a medikit. Watch out for these. If you are injured, picking up a medikit will restore your health. Medikits do not restore your armor's shield. If your shield is damaged, it will recharge itself. Now, go through the next door to practice your combat skills. 
Wow, the we are small room, compared to the rest of the town. Go through the next door and pick up the weapons there. Dad? Dad, what are you doing? Are you doing some computer stuff? Can I see? Huh? Can I see? I want to see. Dad, I had a bad dream. <laughs> I guess like oh there it is. I'll just take all the guns. You can carry one weapon in each hand, but you can only fire your selected weapon. You can change your selected weapon by pressing square button. So if this entire game we're literally dual wielding. Pick up a weapon on the ground by standing over it. If you hold down the square button, you will swap it with your spare weapon. This firing range has some holographic targets to shoot at. Try to destroy all the targets. When the crosshair is steered close to a target, it changes. This shows the weapon is locked onto the target, and your aim will correct itself to hit it. Your weapons have primary and secondary firing modes. Oh, the right in the dick! Button, right in the hollow dick! An R2 button to fire secondary fire modes. I can't, is it just like slower, more accurate? I don't know why I would use the secondary shot if I could just use the primary. It's just the same thing, but slower. It doesn't look like it does any more damage. Hmm. Nope, yep, still. All right, seems like for this one, secondary is a bit more accurate. I do like that the, the screen on there is actually zoomed in to, like, a, a zoomed in thing, but it doesn't look like you can uh, aim down the scope or anything. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else. Come on, hit the damn guy. There we go. Now go into the next room and pick up the grenades there. Throwing grenades on a ship sounds like a really stupid idea. Just to saying. Grenade, press the triangle button. Be careful not to be too close to a grenade when it goes off. If you use a grenade when your selected weapon is the pulse carbine, you will use the carbine's grenade launcher, which will fire the grenade oh. further and more accurately. Try to blow up the holographic targets on the range with your grenade. Nope, oh, need more. Oh, there's the grenade indicator. I didn't even notice it the first time. Alright, right there. There we go. And finally you. If I can thread the needle. There we go. Now go through the next door. When you need to use an explosive charge, a target waypoint will appear on your visor. You will need to enter the target zone to place the explosive. Go to the target zone. You are approaching the target zone. Enter the zone and hold down the X button. You will have to keep it held down until the, the explosives are placed. Now you have seconds to get clear. Please move away. Hooray! We're breaking our own stuff. That that was the, the main generator to the ship. Uh, life support is going offline now and everybody's gonna die. Maybe I'm the imposter. Well done, Trooper Kate. You have almost finished your training practice. In the next room is an information display where you can request briefings on your enemy and the current situation. Just press the buttons with the X button to activate the display. When you have finished, go through the far door to exit training. Now go through to the briefing chamber. 
HDMI splitter off Amazon today for streaming on a console. Well, best of luck when that happens. These are information displays. If you require a briefing on a particular subject, press a button. Fire warriors must rise through the ranks. All fire warriors start as Shazla or troopers. If they uh -oh. progress, they reach the second rank or Shazwi. A veteran who distinguishes himself and survives long enough may become a commander or Shazel. Uh, there we go. Where do I, what's this one? The Imperium spans the galaxy and rules the human race. They come from an obscure sector of the far spiral arm and have aggressively colonized the stars over thousands of years. Human society is ancient and has descended into superstition. Technology is treated like magic, and only the human's priesthood understands how machines work. Humans live harsh lives and rule by might. They deploy vast fleets and armies across space to enforce their domination, and tolerance of other races is not permitted in their philosophy. Yeah, the Imperium is kind of basically a bit evil. The Tau sphere of influence shares borders with races other than the humans. The Eldar are an ancient and decadent people. Oh, it's actually talking about all the races in the game. Powers. The Tyranids are nomadic hive creatures capable of descending upon worlds and consuming every living thing. The Necrons have emerged from hibernation to launch skeletal machine armies upon campaigns of conquest. The Tau Firecast has been our first line of defense against these foes. Okay, maybe not all of them, but like all the major things. Like, I haven't even seen anything about chaos yet. A year ago, the Imperium launched a crusade against the Tau. The humans cleansed two planets of Tau at a massive cost in lives before they were halted in the Dalith system and a truce declared. Since the crusade ended, the Imperials <laughs> kept the peace until they kidnapped our ethereal Kovash of the Vashya Sept. By this terrible act, they have brought war upon themselves. Wait. Uh, get rid of what? The humans are a powerful race, almost numberless. Even the Imperium's own bureaucracy doesn't know how many humans there are. Because they draw their armies from a million worlds, the Imperium's forces oh. are varied. Some human armies are little more than armed rabble. Others are highly disciplined and well-equipped. They can be a cunning and resourceful foe, and should be respected. I think this is... In our nope. battles uh, with humanity, Marines. we have encountered forces of superhumans altered by genetic engineering and surgery. Known as the Adeptus Astartes, or Space Marines, they are feared throughout the galaxy. We know little of these elite forces, but they proved to be formidable on the battlefield, and fought fanatically to the death. Imperial weaponry is of a primitive design and manufacture, but is deadly and effective. Their primary weapons are either large-caliber slug throwers firing explosive shells, or short-range laser rifles and pistols. Though not as light or efficient as Tau pulse weaponry, these guns can be picked up and used in an emergency. We Tau are a proud race. Our culture is young, but we have progressed quickly, and our technology is advanced. This we have achieved by working together for the greater good. We live in peaceful coexistence with other races, but will defend ourselves against unprovoked aggression. We live for the noble belief that the many are more important than the few. All right, uh, I think that one right there is where we started, so this one should be good. Our society is divided into five castes. The fire caste are proud warriors, the biggest and strongest of the race. The Earth Casts are artisans and laborers, engineers and scientists. To the Water Cast belong the administrators, merchants, negotiators and diplomats. The Air Cast are messengers and couriers, 
the pilots and spaceship crews of the Tau fleet. Binding these four castes together are the Aum, or the Ethereal caste, the wisest of the Tau. All right. We'll read all the... We'll see all the four uh, around the hollow thing, and then we'll head out. The Devilfish Troop Carrier is a skimming vehicle capable of carrying 12 fully armed fire warriors and providing fire support for them. It is fast, maneuverable, and armed with a formidable burst cannon. This is an Orca class dropship. It can deploy a fire warrior team from orbit to the surface and supply fire support to them. The Tau fire warriors may only progress in rank by passing a test, the trial by fire. Of course they call it that. The trial may be a test of courage or skill, or the warrior must survive a ferocious battle. There is no way to prove one's mettle and honor except in a trial by fire. <laughs> also runs the gas bill like a bitch. The fire warrior combat armor is effective protection against kinetic weapons, energy weapons, fire, and splinter. The composite shell of ceramic, aerogel absorption layers, and anti-spalling mesh will withstand a number of hits before it degrades and becomes useless. Battle suits record telemetry for use in analysis and training. Upgraded stealth armor is issued to infiltration specialists and is tougher than regular armor. It is also shielded against enemy sensors across a wide spectrum, including radar and infrared. A standard rifle of the Tau fires plasma pulse bursts, capable of defeating most light enemy armor. The rifle has a low rate of fire, but is highly accurate. It uses a 32 or 64 round ammunition clip. Are you sure about the accuracy thing? Because it took, like, one of those holograms, like, 20-plus shots to even take out with this, with this stupid thing. The standard carbine of the Tau fires plasma pulse burst ammunition identical to that of the standard rifle. However, the lightweight carbine is a rapid-fire weapon and also mounts a photon grenade launcher. The penalty for the higher rate of fire is decreased accuracy. The carbine uses a 32 or 64 round ammunition clip. Did a good few games around this time have slightly muffled audio, even though plenty did it. I think the, the audio is like that because it's supposed to be like a, a holographic interface or like an AI talking to us about this, so they wanted to give it like that muffled effect. Tau Earthcast technicians are developing new weaponry for use against the human Imperium. Some of these weapons will enter service soon and are miniaturized versions of certain vehicle-mounted weapons. A drone is a miniaturized artificial intelligence. The drone disc I mean, this game mainly had it overall, so the Half-Life. The hmm. linked pulse carbine. I think it just might have been like the hot fire thing fire around that time of the year, or a, around that year. drones in especially dangerous situations. Care about the truths for reference. The Imperial Guard, aka Humans Training Program, is where this. Here's your gun. Go here. Shoot bad guys. Congrats. You graduated in 15 seconds. I thought it was. Uh, here's some armor. Here's a gun. Go go this way and hope you don't get turned into hamburger meat. Even though, for the most part, when it comes to Imperial Guardsmen, they get turned into hamburger meat in under 15 seconds. Because they're so under-equipped for basically anything, and they rely on, like, sheer overwhelming numbers to take out any targets. Before you rejoin your squad, you will first need to download all the movement and combat data stored in your armor. Your visor will go blank for a moment while we transfer the data. Thank you for your cooperation. I do not know my name, I do not know why I'm here, all I know is that I must kill. Basically. Ooh, story. And also to the Imperium, it's basically, if you're not a Space Marine, or any of the Super Soldiers, or even to some degree, even if you are one of them, uh, your life literally means nothing.
Is it weird I'm kind of getting a zero vibe from the Tau combat armor? I saw that earlier and it hurts, especially the sly one. All brethren, execute extraction plan. What of this one, brother sergeant? No witnesses. Man, all this in just a standard piece of combat armor. Chris, the ethereal uh, Kovash has been held somewhere in this area. You must locate him. Mm. Once we have his location, we'll send in the extraction teams to rescue him. This is your trial by fire, so you must do your best. You might want to put a helm- okay, you're going that way. You're just a crew member. I feel like sending only uh, four soldiers into a combat zone with this giant troop transport is a severe lack of resources. Also, you might want to put a helmet on. The ramp will drop soon. Go on the green light. The tactical readouts say our forces are making good progress, but stay alert. Do not fail your trial. Prove your skills and honor the fire cast. Like I say, you, you guys might want to put a helmet on. Also, I only got 32 shots in this thing. Oh, God. Well, the green light's going on. You, uh, can I get out? I feel like this thing's about ready to explode. There we go. I honestly thought one of those transports was going to get shot down. Yep, there it is. Oh. Hi, I, I got a glorified laser pointer right now. Oh, those are friends. Grab what weapons I can get. I, I think you're a little bit more than injured, buddy. You you appear to be dead. Oh, that's the way. Is there anything? Uh, just standard weapons. Oh god. You might want to move, buddy. There we go. Uh, 
Oh, wait. There was something there. Yeah, I'll stick with the last gun. That's a grenade. Something is shooting at me, but I can't figure out where. Don't worry, I won't. There we go. Did I just see an R wing fly by? Oh, that's a turret up there. No wonder I couldn't figure out what was hitting me. Also, I am about to die, and I'm dead. The very top house rifle is fairly high tech in that it shoots these plasma bolt things when the Imperial Laz gun is actually just a high powered laser pointer. We have intercepted the enemy communications and I don't see who's hitting me. Oh, there you are. Wait, did he just shoot himself in the head? It looks like I shot him and it looked like he held his gun up and was just like, nope, you're not taking me alive. Oh, where'd you guys come from? Damn, it looked like he did it again. Alright, no, they're, they're not, like, uh, making sure they're not uh, prisoners. They're just, like, holding their head before they drop dead. He's got a chainsaw. Can I take that, take that chainsword? I'd love the chainsword. No, only the pistol. Fine. Damn it. Where are the Gundams? There we go. Got him. Uh oh. Out there. There we go.
Oh, they're tossing grenades down at me. Who is... Oh, you. Alright, they're just... I thought they were wearing, like, gas masks and stuff. And I wanted to see if there was actually a correlation to... Uh, the fact that they kind of remind me of, uh... Exylvanian soldiers. Uh oh, I'm almost dead. I wonder if that's where they got the inspiration for their design. I'm dead. Uh, for them in Battalion Wars. It looks like they're just kind of have yeah. Actually, no, they do have a sort of gas mask design to them, I, so I... They just really remind me of, like, the Exylvanian grunts from Battalion Wars, so I wonder if that's where the... Where their design came from. He's just holding his head when he falls down. You know what, I'm not even gonna bother with you two. You're too far away. Ooh. I see a mounted weapon. I want it. I need it. I'm gonna... Alright, there you are. Down. Uh, there we go. Okay, actually, I think I know what I need to do. Maybe? There we go. Thanks, guys. I'm kind of trapped in here right now. What the? What killed him? Okay, that one, that was like an artillery shell hitting. I didn't see what took out the first guy, though. Oh, God, everything is on fire. Give me that health. And give me some more health. Alright, now we... Excuse me! Uh-oh. Nope!
I'll still keep the last gun. Oh, that thing's still shooting. I thought I turned it off. Dead. There we go. Hi. It's a good thing all these walkers are uh, destroyed or else this might be uh, very terrifying. In fact, I would say it's probably convenient that all the walkers are destroyed. Now that's night vision. I definitely do not need that. Ah, my eyes. think you're doing, buddy? Ooh, that's not good. Oh, he's got a sword. He's got a sword. Ah. I'm stuck. Ah, damn it. Well. Alright, well, if that's the case, I'm just gonna save all my grenades for that little ambush right there. I think there might have been a good uh, grenade thing back here. I want to go check real quick. Nope. All right, worth a look. That was a new weapon. Would love to know why they didn't send me in with a carbine. Because I would have really liked to have used that grenade launcher down here. Warning. Suit buffer is full. Shutting down visor for upload. Oh, God. 
You know, that's a, kind of a really stupid thing. It's just like, okay, we need to turn your suit off so you get no visual thing. And uh, why are all these enemies suddenly in front of me? Case, now KORT have run into an ambush and are making their way to the extraction point. Give them whatever assistance you can. Okay, she must find a way through the trench system to the extraction point. The way ahead is dangerous, so be on your guard. Data transfer. This area is still full of hostiles. Find the extraction point as fast as you can. One to one point. What the? Did he just jump over the ledge? Confirmed. Grid fire. Transmitting deconfliction over there. Keyboard try because most likely you're gonna die, buddy. Just like that. I'll take it. Oh, that wasn't the pulse or uh, the carbine. Did you see that? It's crazy out here. Now see, that guy gets it. He's not going out into this bloodbath. He wants me to do his job instead. Ow. Oh, now he's coming. What was that? Was that like super healing or something? Hmm, if enemies came that way, then that can only mean that, well, A, there's an enemy up there. And B, my friend is probably dead. Worth a look at least. Yep, he's dead. No Are you sure about that? The demonstration specialist is on his way. Is he? Oh, there he is. I keep thinking and try and go sw swap weapons. You need a key for this door. No activity. Be on your guard. Can I take you your sword now? No. Ah, you know what? We'll take your damn pistol. 
Actually, no, we won't because it only has six shots to its name. I'd rather have something that has 40 shots and like 20 times the ammo capacity or in reserves. That could have been bad. Oh, he's got a gun. Gun, not a las gun. That is just straight up an M16. I think this thing has a grenade launcher on it. No, it does not. Alright, well, in that case, I'll just take this again. Every time. Glad to see that even in the grim, grim dark future, we still use the M16. It also seems like it's even more powerful than the carbine or the, or not the carbine, the pulse rifle or the las gun. Which is why I cannot find any ammo for it whatsoever. He doesn't. Oh god! Ah. These commanders are no pushover. They have so much health. There we go, finally. Ah, uh, yes. I'm glad my computer consoles also come with their very own book. Work Earned Salvation. That's yeah, the same thing. Are you sure about that? Hello? I'll take your gun. And oh my god, it has more than one clip in it. Let's see. Heresy grows from... Idleness. Ah, uh, reminds me of the motivational posters at work. Hey, oh, that was bullets. You are at the extraction point. The landing zone will just ahead. The ship is coming in now. Oh, there it is.
Ow, what the? It's not it. I don't know why these guys rely on uh, laser rifles when just good old fashioned bullets seem to do the trick even better. Okay, that's one way of taking care of him. It's quiet. Yes, I know it's quiet. It's always quiet. Except for that buzzing sound. I have no, you don't. Picked up the magenta key. gun. Hello. Goodbye. I heard a chainsaw somewhere. Ah, oh, there he is. What are you made of, buddy? There we go. It's a good thing I'm using these silenced grenades and bolt, uh, the silenced gun to make sure no one else hears me. Oh, hi. I think I'm gonna need more than just a gun for that. Maybe like a rocket launcher or something down here? Giant cannon, maybe? I am about to die. All right, yeah, don't charge it. I don't I don't know if I'm supposed to shoot it or I need to find a weapon uh, specifically designed. The drop ship cannot land until it is eliminated. 
But the dropship has guns on it. Can't use the dropship to help take it out or something? Oh, hi. Alright, you know what? Gun. Okay, I see engines. Well done. The dropship is coming in to land. Are you sure this time? Once again, gun beats everything. Lasers, gunships, chainsaws, everything. It is too quiet and echoey in here. Something's gonna happen. I just know it. Or not. Hey guys, check out this gun I got. Cool, right? Your trial by fire went well, young warrior. You helped Malkior team escape. I have more tasks for you. But first, I shall review your battle data in detail. Your first mission was impressive. We have great hopes for you. Well done, Case. So you have cleared the extraction point and allowed us to access the landing access to the landing zone. Many fire warriors' lives will be saved for your actions. I mean, did we really extract somebody? Because I'm pretty sure everybody else died. I think I was like the sole survivor of that invasion. We are approaching the prison where Kobash is held. It may be possible to gain access to the prison tunnel through one of the vents bringing this crater. We will supply you with explosive charges. Gain access to the prison complex so that you can rescue the ethereal. You will need to destroy the enemy artillery to succeed in the endeavor. Well, at least I'm back here this time. A diversionary attack will begin in 30 seconds. You must gain access to the prison and the cells in the tunnels beneath. For the greater good. He's all the way up there. These guys like charge. Charge! Even though there's nothing coming out. There's nothing to charge at. Oh, I thought it was going to be over there. There you are. Did I... Did they both die again? Oh, no, they're up here. Although something tells me they're about ready to die here. Wow, teammates that are actually competent in combat. That's a rarity.
Uh oh. Hey uh, guys, we might wanna duck. Maybe get inside and all. You cannot enter here. However, we've located another way in. Try this now. Oh, now my guys are dead. I wouldn't be surprised if they both died to like one artillery shell. Now, if we can't get in there, why didn't we just... Mm. Whatever, I'm just going to put the bomb on there and get away. Good work. Get inside. We will monitor your progress into the tunnel complex. You mean you could also maybe send some backup? You know, bring yes. another dropship in? Identified a point at which one of the prison air vents intersects with your cave. We will download a location marker shortly. You will have to use an oh, there charge. is a melee weapon. I thought the Tau were garbage against melee, though. Or with melee. There it is. Oh, God. That night vision th makes it even harder to see. We go. Sorry about that. Uh, accidentally pulled the plug on the mic. Got caught around my leg. Okay, now we can continue. To be honest, the game doesn't take the 40k lore too well from what I've seen. So, so Protag, since you're the big 40k buff, uh, so what? What are some things that? Uh, that are kind of like not taken to the lore so well in this game so far. Hello. I think that is a sniper. I'm just gonna go this way. Warning. Surveillance equipment has been detected in this area. Proceed with caution. I'm sure that won't mean anything. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, they heard me. They were ready for me. Warning. Surveillance equipment has been detected in this area. Proceed with caution. I'm sure that first one doesn't see me. So it's because I set the alarm off that this was locked.
Got him. Oh, wait, nope. All right, fine. Want to do this the hard way? We can do this the hard way. That's what you get. Let's see. Tau weapons are usually much stronger than Imperial stuff. The M16 you're holding on to. Uh, Tau weapons are stupidly accurate. Maybe I'm just really bad at shooting. See, a fair bit of the uniforms of the guard implies a bigger rank when there actually are a weird mix of guard factions, like different armies of guards are thrown together. Huh. Yeah, because isn't like the standard like guard uniform uh just like green shirt with green like green like World War II helmet with uh World War with like a combat vest? It's like the the Imperial Guard soldier designs are usually heavily inspired by like, by like World War One and World War Two soldiers. All right. All right, I'm done. Ow, who, what, where, you? Where'd you come from? Damn it, finally ran out of ammo. Uh, what is. Mm. Alright, you know what? This calls for the weave sword. Give me that health. Shit. Kinda, that's one faction of guard. The snow uniforms. That these regular ones are different IG. Uh, Imperial Guard Army. Ah. I didn't even know that this was supposed to be like winter uniforms. They just look like really ugly blue camo uh, uniforms and red camo. Like, what is this even supposed to be uh, camouflaging you with? It's just like, okay, they'll never see us. We have bright blue and bright red uniforms. I need that that last gun. I need something that shoots just a little bit faster. It says go up, but I want to go down. Be alert. 
Eh, actually, you know what? Let's just follow the waypoint. Oh, yep, there are snipers up here. I'll take that. The weapon you are holding has a scope mode with a zoom function. This scope can be activated ah, using secondary fire. Nothing detected. I can't. There we go. It's weird. There's no like center point for the scope, so it's hard to tell if I'm even hitting anything. Where's that other sniper? Is he down there? Nope. Be on your guard. You doing okay, buddy? All right. You know what? Sword versus chainsaw. Go. Chainsaw wins. Green ones you find, I want to say, are the Cadian regi uh, regiments and the ugly blues is something else, but commissioners and the few other guys you see are uh, weird or different blue. I don't know. Oh, God, I got to do this all over again. They say Space Marine support. Oh, no. Also, I haven't seen any uh, ones in green armor. It's only been like the, the ugly blue and the ugly red ones. And the commanders. This is Fire Team Red Five standing by. We are converging on the prison complex, but we are pinned down by enemy artillery from within the building. The courtyard guns are still active, and there is no access to the cell. You must disable the guns and lower the cell access ramp. All right, you know what? Uh, that was beforehand. Uh, let me go down here real quick, see if there's any weapons or health. All right, there's some health. Nothing detected. Nothing, no grenades, no weapons, nothing. All right, you know what? I feel like we're going to be coming down here after we t uh, take care of the guns and whatever was in that command room, so I'm going to wait until we get some reinforcements.
grab case. You have eliminated the enemy artillery threat. Now, you must locate Kobach. Alright, I'm not even gonna bother with this. Eh, I'll try and get it. Get it first, uh, like, snipers across the way. The weapon you are holding has a scope mode with a zoom function. This scope can be activated using secondary fire. And boop. And nothing. There you are. And boop. And I think that is all the snipers. Nope, I heard another one. Is that him right there? No, I already took him out. That's artillery spots. There he is. Secret task complete. Awesome, I didn't even know there were secret tasks. There we go, finally. Damn it, I didn't want the pistol. You need a key. Here, run. Got you guys. Seriously, how many bullets have I put in you at this point? This is driving me insane. There's the door. No activity. Anytime I hear this alarm, it's just basically saying, hey, get up and get ready for work. Alright, well, that's one way to take care of him. Just have him walk right into the grenade.
Wait, did I just hear a sniper shoot? Ha, 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 ha. Got him. If only you heard yours. Ow, what the? This just screams not good. A tower has made it into the courtyard. Close all red. Kate, the door to the courtyard has been sealed, but we can't open the way for you. Mm. Kind of wish I had that sniper rifle still. Oh, good. Reinforcements are coming. We can't hold them back. We have taken the ramp control, but cannot hold it for long. We finally got into the prison. I thought that entire complex that we were going to was the prison. All right. Uh, it's been oh, we've already gone past an hour, so I say it's time for us to take a break. All right, I'll go use the restroom and all that stuff. Get something to drink. Uh, when we get back, we'll continue Fire Warrior. Uh, so far, I've actually been enjoying this game quite a bit. Yeah, but then again, it was me by Kuju, and they do make some pretty good games, so... You know, I'm happy with it. Alright, I'll see you all when I get back.
Hey, do you smell that? <laughs> it smells like some heresy up in here. How's it going, everybody? It's time for us to get back to some Fire Warrior. Mini tower captured as well as the ethereal. You must do your best to save all you can. All right, getting access to the deep levels. It's been over nine hours at this point. This transmission is being jammed. You must reach Kobash at all costs. Hello. I was actually going to ask, uh, if this isn't an Imperial location, why are there so many Tau weapons here? And it's because of the POWs they've captured. Alright, well there's a prisoner right there. How am I supposed to save him though? Can't do anything with that. I don't see any other buttons to press. Oh, like My that. prayers are rewarded. I'm in your debt. But there are others imprisoned here. I can lower the ramp to the cells from here. I will await you. Go now and release the rest. Okay. I no longer need any help. Go help the others. A pretty spacious cell, I have to say. I thought it was just a small little corridor-like area, but no, he's got like a pretty big cell. Where'd he go anyways? Nothing here. Ah, there we go. Are you sure about that? I didn't even see where there was a camera. Damn it. Why did your dead body have to protect your friends? Alright, you're free. Hope no one's annoyed by the sound because ugh. there we go. Finally, where is this alarm coming from? Fine. Oh, that was it. Buttons. Mm -hmm. Ow. Who? What? No, you. Section E, Section C, we'll go to E. Okay, maybe not. I guess we're going to C then. No, it's not.
What am I hearing? Is there like a Velociraptor in here or something? Everything is about shooting it. Heresy! This is the Warhammer universe. Everything's about shooting it. That is one creaky Chewbacca moon. Can someone please oil the hinges on that door? Finally. Maybe that's what I was hearing. Someone getting purged. Oh God. Uh uh here we go. I was about to say, did I get trapped by him? Still hearing something. This seems like a really bad idea. I hope there's no fall damage. Oh, no, there's a ladder. My family will set I owe you a debt, Trooper. Trooper, Ethereal Kovash is held in the lower cells. You must find him. I thought I saw something. It's quiet. Look! It's that cow! We gotta get him, but the door's stuck! Damn it! We have to blow the door! Fire in the hole! It's quiet. Oh, this was definitely not the way. some health big time. I'm gonna go back. Usually the prisoner cells usually have some health uh, things in them.
Nope, nothing there. Please, just thank you. Finally. And I might as well check here as well, just to be sure. Okay. Alright, I'm actually curious. Okay, yeah. It seems like Section E is just a straight-up dead end, and that's just where the prisoners run to. Has to be prisoners here then. What the? Ooh. Oh. 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 <laughs> hey, what I do with my gun on my own time is my business, Moon. There you are. Oh, no, that's reinforcements. What the? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go this way. Never mind, I can't go that way. Ow. Oop, nope, that is not a prisoner. There it is. Alright, now we can go. Now, one of you had a shotgun over here. Just las guns? Oh no, it was a sniper rifle, that's what Unable to connect to Tau Control. Control may be offline, or your suit may be malfunctioning. Storing data for future upload attempts. I mean, if it could have just done that, why didn't it just, you know, store data? And then just up... I guess they want to make sure they have, like, the best, like, uh, references for combat. So that's why they upload it instead. Okay. Assault forces have breached the Imperial defenses and are moving up to support you. The enemy may kill Kobash to prevent his rescue. Kobash is your priority. Okay. <clears throat> Locate the Ethereal Kovash and lead him to the extraction point. Be careful, you are further into the Imperial Complex than any, any other Fire Warrior. Unable to connect to Tau Control. 
Control. Jamming signal detected. Storing data for future <coughs> upload attempts. Do 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 boop. And the one and the two and not two. Three. Up, up, up. That. Nope, so has a shot left. Alright, uh you. Okay, that's not what I meant to do, but I'll work with it. Alright, last gun it is. said boop boop damn you Alright, this time I'm not going to walk off into the void. Alright, but I am going to get away from those barrels, though. And the two. And the three. And a four. Oh. And a five. I said and a five. And a five. Ooh, that's a lot of dudes. Sniper shot. I only got one. I'll replace it. Uh, there's some. I was about to say, there better be some health around here. Alright, let's head out this way. God's name in my hearing. I think it's the Yeah, it's the doors opening and closing.
I think they both lead to the same place, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. One of the very few places where the night vision stuff, or I guess, would that be infrared? Probably infrared because it has an outline of people. Is actually useful. That definitely should have taken both of them out, but it might just, like, uh, evenly cut damage between them. It is too late, Trooper. My body and spirit are broken. Go! Kovash needs you. They have just taken him to the Neuro Chamber. It lies beyond the great doors at the end of the corridor. Go now! Uh... This way, I guess? Looks to be it. Way too many. There has to be some health around here somewhere. I, I already checked back there. There's nothing. Uh, hopefully there's health through here, maybe? Oh, uh, that looks like death. You know what, I feel like if I drop down there, I'm gonna immediately die. Well, I found him. What is this disturbance? Deal with it. Green, kill that tower. What? Oh, hi. Oh, that's a space marine.
Choppy choppy. Choppy choppy. Katana beats power armor every day. Got him. I'll see ya. So, uh, do I just... Am I supposed to just go out this way then, or what? This way? Yeah, this seems like. Yep, there we go. I am in your debt, Trooper. Now we must leave this evil place. Jamming signal overridden. Establishing contact. Well done, Case. We detect that Kobash is with you. Scans indicate your access route is blocked by the enemy. You will have to take another route out. Our we can take the train out. Has detected a possible extraction point. Sending coordinates now. Head for the extraction point case. Oh, that way. And protect Kobash. Come on, come on. There we go. Well done. The dropship is coming in to land. Ace, hey, hurry. There is not much time. I like that they are just completely ignoring the very important prisoner they've been tasked to guard and just going for just the, this regular soldier. And I am completely out of what? Ammunition. Great. All right. You know the drill. Give me a second. Alright, now I'll get on. Uh, guys? Oh, we were waiting for everyone else. So, uh, how about that rescue? Pretty impressive, huh? Uh, guys, I think we're forgetting someone. Nope, guess not. <laughs> to be fair, that regular soldier just murdered a space marine in power armor with a tiny stick. You're not wrong there, Protag. Of course it wasn't going to be that easy. Case, give me your weapon. <laughs> okay, my... Here, you can have the... Which weapon, though? They're both out of ammo. 
your sword. I want it. Stop the Empirical Ools from taking the ship. Engage the enemy boarding parties. Data transfer. The Imperial ship has begun its attack. Intruder alert. All fire warriors to the station. We must protect Kovash. Case, come with us. Non-essential access routes are now sealed. You have proved yourself worthy, Shazri. Take this pulse carbine. Now, finally. May the carbines serve you well. Go now and protect the ship. I shall guide our defense from here. I have given you several explosive charges in case you need them. Okay. The hangar door must remain sealed. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. guys actually look pretty cool and intimidating. I'm sure Protag will... Nope. Oh, no, not him! Dad, no! Hey, access to the working turbo elevator is blocked. You need to find another way. Alright. Sword time. in here and there's nothing oh there's dead it's you communications to secure channel. Which ones these are? Just glad the guard called in an extra army for this. <laughs> they called in a whole army. To be fair, doesn't the Imperium have, like, over, like, a million, like, uh, armies that they can just ha uh, use at their expense? Oh, it's nice that our, our defensive turrets are working against us now. At least I think those are supposed to be our defensive turrets. You need a key for this door. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, maybe not. Maybe they just put it up there. Alright, let me try this. That works. That's the thing. Each time, each time the uniform color changes, it's an entirely different army with its own codex rules and tactics and a bunch of other stuff. Repair 
team to level B, green sector. There is a hull breach. Are you still alive? Oh, no, that's my friend shoot me in the back. Oh, looks like we're winning. <laughs> that scream is good. Oh, maybe I need to blow up the that thing. I am sending the oh, maybe not. Now. Keep the area secure. They're down there. Yes, you must keep the area safe. I'm working on it. You must clear this area first. Oh. Okay, now I get it. I am sending the technician now. Keep the area secure. I feel like we're going to be going through so many technicians at this point. Yeah, it's a bunch of armies, but like 99% of the time, they're independent of each other. They never do joint ops or anything unless something really, really spooky is going on. So basically what you're saying is if the forces of chaos are involved, then that's like the only time that they will do like joint operations. Spooky chaos stuff. Well, that works. Oh, what? There you are. Oh, 
Mars approaching. Technician required at Turbo Elevator 5. Red Sector. Level P. Wait, if I'm stuck in here and I place a bomb on this and unwedge this thing, doesn't that mean I'm going to be stuck in here or get sucked out into the vacuum of space? This doesn't seem like a very sound plan in my opinion. Okay, time to run. Clear the area. The charge is set to explode on a timer delay. Oh, that's the wrong way. Oh, no, I think I screwed myself. Get the health. Woo. Five. Woo. Four. Three. Two. Might want to close that door. Detonation. Excellent work. That was the last of the boarding barges. But there are still many Imperials on Ow. So be on your guard. Okay. The power generator is under threat. If the generator fails, we are lost. I have identified a turbo elevator that will take you there. Here are the coordinates. Hurry! Let's see, if an army isn't able to contain a smallish one by themselves, everyone else goes, yeah, they're obviously heretics anyway, so smaller ones usually are sort of a test of faith for most armies. Ugh. Yeah, I think I can safely say the 40k universe is a universe I never want to live in. Good work, Fire Warrior. You've defeated the vanguard of the enemy forces. And stopped, like, what, one of a dozen boarding ships from uh, hitting our ship? Okay. Scans indicate the enemy are here in large numbers. Some of the scans look like nothing we've seen before. Be careful. No, oh, why do I get a feeling I'm going to be fighting more Space Marines? You know, it's kind of his own fault that he died. He was stuck inside this room with these guys. Oh, there's a bunch of Imperials here. I should just stick around and maybe throw him a party. What's the worst that could happen? Right. Marking 15, 
Jesus, is there any time where I see uh, friends and they don't get themselves blown up? It was like there was that one guy waiting for me outside the drop pod area, and then he got blown up by a panel. There, there was the dropship crew at the very start of the game. And they immediately got taken care of. There was that guy right there that just got completely mowed down by these Imperials. Ahead. And there's those guys. Activate the power to the lift. All right, yeah, you go that way. Keep moving. Radiation levels. What the? <laughs> Sir, I believe you're in a completely different game. I think your shield's already failed you, buddy. Ooh. Look, make him from the AI is hard. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. They experienced the Tower of Terror. Guys, gonna go to safety, or you're just gonna stay in here? Okay. Oh, I think it was, yeah, it's his weapon. Please don't tell me that my friend just blew up. Ooh, flamethrower. Busted him so hard he exploded. Jeez. As much as I like that flamethrower, wow, does it burn through ammo fast. And yes, that was intentional. I'm going to go back for that p explosive pistol. Also, grab the health kits that are here. Moon, please don't ever, don't ever use those words ever again. That is such a cursed phrase. All right, let's see how this pistol is. It's pretty damn good. Okay, uh, can any of the other mods who might be in the chat, uh, ban Moon for the rest of the night? Jeez. Ooh, finally grenades. I just go in one big circle. Oh, I must have. I think I was supposed to pick up a key card. Cause yeah. There it is. I don't know why I didn't register. <gasps> Moon, no, please! Don't leave! There we go. 
finally. Alright, you know what? Good, going with the good old fashioned uh, Oblivion hack and slash. Actually, no, these are better. Okay. What was that scream? My shield is malfunctioning. My shield failing. Once again, shield has already failed. Imperial forces have counterattacked, sending reinforcements. He's uh he's kind of dead, so you mind not poking at his dead body? Well, at least we finally found some guys that aren't gonna die by explosions. You're descending to the engine level. You must locate the main generator. Alright. Uh... Yeah, we... Uh, we've already done that. Okay, let's wait for this to load in and then we'll take a break. Locate the power generator. Okay, we shall do that right after this break. Maybe. Give it a minute. There we go. Okay. I'll go grab something to drink and all that stuff. When we get back, we'll hopefully finish up this ship section because I, I, that's where I want to at least finish off tonight. If we can make a little bit more progress afterwards, then that'd be great. But if not, then at least we've already knocked out two, like two segments of the game. All right, I'll see you all then.
All right, I'm back. Let's get back into the game, shall we? Are you injured, Gates? The power to the elevator must have failed. You must get to the generator before we lose all power. But I just fixed the generator. Yep, I need to get out of here. Ooh. Thank you, Moon. Ooh. Oh, well, that looks the way... I need to go, so I'm gonna look at everything else beforehand. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's so many goodie to goodies in there. That barrier is a piece of imperial technology. I shall try to locate it in our database. Wait, why am I a brat, Moon? We scan for the three pieces of the tri key. Scan complete. We have located the three pieces. They are all located on this level, and each of these three doors will lead you to the location of one of the three pieces. I will seal the way behind you to prevent further attack. What about the way in front of me, though? You could have warned me that there were two soldiers hiding behind here. Door sealed. There we go. Unfortunately, oh, oh, no. I was gonna say, unfortunately, that was my last grenade. There we go, finally. I don't even know what, why I even did that. Oh no. The power to the elevator must have failed. You must get to the generator before we lose mm -hmm. all power. That barrier is a piece of imperial technology. Try to locate it in our database. Else want to sneak up on me? No? Good. Okay, you do. Oh! Hey, maniacal! Arrow sniff. Hi, maniacal. Why, why were you sniffing arrows? Hey, give me a second. Let me get countermeasures going. Countermeasures. Where are you? Because Wind Waker, of course. How's Wind Waker going for you? 
as I try to find the raid. There it is. Michael, thank you so much for the raid. Hope Wind Waker was going well. I see you finished Tower of the Gods. Uh, did you also finish uh, Hyrule Castle? We're just playing some Warhammer 40k Fire Warrior tonight for game clearing. It's going well, I think. Yeah, oh, that's good to hear. Uh, this was originally supposed to be the winner of the game clearing poll. However, the laser reader for my uh, PS2 at the time of it winning sadly had to die and unfortunately i had to give it to the second place winner which we actually beat uh earlier tonight which was donkey kong land but yes welcome raiders uh we're gonna try to wrap up this section of the game before we call it a night and right now i need to focus on not dying to these guys Hey, hey, thanks, thanks so much. I uh, wanted to do something special because the way YouTube has been when it comes to like sounds and music and stuff, I figured that the main countermeasure video that I use uh, would get claimed. So this was like an alternative. I do have plans for like a special, unique countermeasure to me. I need to talk to Dalton about it, but hopefully in the coming year, I'll be able to get some special uh, countermeasures. We have located the three pieces. They are all located on this level, and each of these three doors will lead you to the location of one of the three pieces. I will seal the way behind you to prevent further attack. Ah, oh, didn't want to open this. There we go. Door sealed. All right, let's go get this key. Be on your guard. Hello. All right, you know what? You can die. And wait a sec. You know what? Screw it. Sword. It was good enough to kill a space marine. It's good enough to take you out. Also, the space wizard. I think it's no has no effect against the space wizard. All right, fine. I cast bullet. It's super effective. I see you down there. Thank you. Stop moving around. All right, fine. You know what? Heavy artillery. There we go, that works. Oh, thank God, there's health right there. Alright. Let's head through here. Hello. And goodbye. You know, I kind of feel bad for these guys, flooding this entire area with radiation. Thanks for the key anyways. Try key found. Two pieces remaining. Return to the engine room door and I will open the way for the remaining keys. Nope. Ow. 
Who? What? Where'd you even come from? Get up there. There we go. Door sealed. I don't. Uh oh. Well, this was definitely not my doing. Admiral Constantine, this is Schaefer. Opposition in our section has been eradicated. I shall move on to the next target. Good work. The tech piece are almost finished. Ow, ow. Guys, please get out of my way. Admiral, who is Severus? I've heard his name mentioned. It's not familiar. He is the governor of the planet beneath us, Captain. But do bother yourself with open politics. Just do your job. And protect the keys at all costs. There we go. Did I get both of them? I think I did. And glitched them up into the vent. Yeah, up oh, there. There we go. Ooh, grenades. I will gladly take that. Oh, drones, what? Turn to the engine room door, and I will open the way for the final key. Hmm? I can't tell... Oh, those are Imperials. Sorry, guys. Uh, good luck going that way, or whatever. Try not to explode like everyone else. Alright, this time I'm not going to walk into the wall of plasma. I'm going to go this way instead. Ah, oh, damn it. Right. That works too. Nothing else in here, so let... Oh, wait, nope, I did get some grenades. Probably best not to shoot grenades into... The, ch the main ship's generator. What you reading? Hmm? Is that that New Age magic stuff? Wait, was nothing else in here? I thought I had to take him out and then that would open the door or something. Alright. It was just if you want his pistol. Yep. Let's head up here. It's nice the reinforcements finally show up after I've done all the heavy lifting. Okay. 
obtained the third key. You can now open the tri-key barrier. And I'm trying to disable the engine. Enemy hiding behind the generator force speed. And I've locked out the control. Get to them. You must destroy the energy consoles to bring down the force field. Use your explosive charger. Using an explosive charge around the main generator, doesn't that seem like a really stupid idea to do? Check the ammo before I open the door. All right. No, it needs to be in a specific order. It can't be, oh, hey, here's one of the things you need to put the bombs on. You can just put it in all three of the areas. No, you have to put on this one, then this one all the way over here, then this one over here, and then we'll detonate them. You have 10 seconds for detonation. Mm. Yeah, you know what? I'm taking the pistol. Detonation. Complete. Nope. Oh god, I just realized how low my health is. Of course they have. Yeah, gonna open it. There we go. Okay, she must reach the brig quickly. Many sections of the ship have become severely damaged, and your route may be blocked. You will, you must overcome all obstacles and pre protect the ship's captain at all costs. Warning: the conduit ahead is leaking coolant gas. Avoid contact with the coolant.
Ajá. This vent will lead you directly to a computer core. And Be alert. down here. And hello. Boop. And yeah, wait, wait. Wait, come on, peek around the corner. Boop. Ah, missed. There we go. And once again, every other soldier besides me is garbage. I mean, I get it, you need to show, like, stakes have been up with your troops dying and all, but still. Do you have to do it with every single soldier I come across that's in combat? Hmm? What are those giant stilts or something? Ah, there it is. Warning. Not. I have unlocked this door. Let's see, we got like some football thing or like a football strategy going on right here. Some graphs, space marines. What does that say? Oh, a dreadnought. You must enable the power of the fan control. The button is located in the computer core. Yeah, I'll get right on that as soon as I grab all the goodies in here. mean to shoot the fire gun on him. He was the one I wanted to hit. Go, Oblivion Sword. Come on, come on. Get him, get him. Was that needless? Yes. Did I still do it anyways? Also, yes. Although, it was kind of reckless, so I don't know if I have enough health going into this next area. Yeah, there's a med kit right there, but... I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Oh, okay, never mind, it is. I have given you access to this area. Ooh, hi. All right, you know what? Ah, it's hard to tell who's who. Hey, hey. 
What the? Tau up. Let's see. Is uh, that supposed to be like a Tyranid or something? Let's see, there's a tank. I could have sworn I just saw a Tau popcorn earlier. No phones in the theater. <laughs> yep, it's just straight up towel popcorn. <laughs> like, several thousand years into the future and a completely different race from the human race, uh, they still have popcorn. Good to know. All right, fine. Sword. I didn't even notice they had a guard function. Can I block shots? Nope. I guess it's only for the chain swords. No, no. All right, place your bets. Chaos or Tyranids? My brain is so focused on triangle always being swapping like gadgets and weapons and such. I keep forgetting that's the grenade button. Uh oh. Nope, oh, nope, oh, get back. You might want to step back. Okay, never mind. Thanks for the help, guys. Really appreciate it. I have to do everything on this ship. I thought it... There we go. Seriously? Okay, there we go. Elevator usage is now restricted. You must kill everyone in this area before you can move up. I would if my friend would stop standing right in front of me when I'm trying to shoot. I have unlocked his door. There we go. You need to move on. Okay. This turbo elevator will take you directly to the bridge. I cannot help you anymore. All right, seems easy enough. Not gonna lie, the layout of this uh, somewhat reminds me of the start of Halo. I don't know why, but I'm getting like a very strong Halo vibe from the interior of the bridge section of the ship. Okay, thanks, explosion. Be on your guard. We part company here, Cooper. Almost part of the defense is here. We'll have a great time of peace. Alright, are you. No, you're an armory. Nice.
grenades. Nope, just carbines. All right. I can make do. Warning, Imperial forces are breaking through the breached door. No. Oh no, it's him. I was like, oh great, is there another one of those shield wizards? I just saw what my health is. I was like, what, what is that beaming? Is there a bomb somewhere? Nope, that's my health. I might as well check, see if there's a health kit over here. This is probably a really dumb idea. It was. Oh god, was it. Oh, thank you. Alright, uh, let's see if there's one in here as well. Yes, there is. And some ammo. Alright, and that is sealed off, so let's head to the bridge. Oh, there was health kits in here. Oh, there are space marines. Oh, this is bad. All right, you know what? This worked last time. Sword. Go, 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 choppy, choppy, chop. Try to obtain this to overcome them. Oh god, all the way back here. Jeez, no checkpoint. Alright, well in that case, I'm gonna save my grenades for the space marines. Uh, no, I'll wait till I get the, the bullet gun. Last guns aren't really gonna be that good against uh, space marines. Three grenades to work with, and I think I could possibly take out two with the grenades. Maybe, maybe two and a half uh, space marines. We'll see. Warning: Imperial forces are breaking through the breached door. This thing has way too long of a charge up time. Give me that, and I'll take that. Ace, reinforcements are on their way. Secure the area until they arrive. Ooh, more grenades, nice. So, this is their captain. Kill the Zenos. Hey, acknowledged, Governor. Oh, all right, got one at least. Try to obtain 
contain this to overcome them. And one of them's got a flamethrower. Take the bolter. Okay. Really wish I had some med kits right now, but I think they're all. Oh. Did I take out all the space marines? Nope, there he is. And of course, he's guarding the health. Oh, there's two in here. Well, the grenade strategy was working. Just that one with the flamethrower just completely just drained all my health away. I saw another thing of grenades there that I missed. Alright, nothing there. Let's check the other door and then we'll try this again. No, this is just health. Hmm? Don't mind me. Imperial forces are breaking through the breach door. All right, got him. Okay, I think all that's left is the commander. Yep, there he is. All right, know what? Gun. I actually was going to try and pull out the sword, but I accidentally hit uh, square instead of right on the D-pad. What the? I found a glitch. I guess I do need to go into these rooms then. Fine by me. Get more grenades. Hmm? Ah, there we go. Alright. The biggest threat right now is the flamethrower, and I think that's him over there. Took care of that guy. I'm gonna grab that bolter. One of the enemy has a powerful gun. Try to obtain this to overcome them. Ow, 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 who, what, where, you?
maybe it's this guy. Uh, isn't that just a pistol? Nope, there's a flamethrower, dude. I'm gonna take the bull turn instead. Yeah, but you're sending only, like, what, three of us in there? How many Imperials are on that ship, though? Alright, whatever. These remain still while the data from your suit telemetry is transferred. Okay, never mind. They're sending only one of us in. You have fought bravely, Fire Warrior. Our counterattack is underway. We must avenge the death of our captain and make the Imperials pay for their actions. Alright. Let's let, let this save finish. And that, ladies and gentlemen is where we're going to end it off tonight. Uh, we'll let the cutscene play first, though. You know, with how many lasers we've put into that ship, I'm surprised that thing has not been cut in half already. Now while that uh, stuff is going on, let's go to intermission. All right, so where's my head pounding exterminatus inquisitor? He's on the ship. Don't worry, we're gonna go kick his ass, but we're not gonna be able to do that until next week. Uh, honestly, this has actually been a pretty fun game. There were times where it was kind of, eh, when it came to the checkpoint system, but it was still really enjoyable, and I'm, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I'm happy I actually decided to put this on for game clearing, and I'm also really happy that it won. Uh, thanks, everybody, for, uh, joining me tonight. Thanks to Maniacal and his raiders for stopping by. Uh, let me see if I can find myself a raid target. Let's see who is still streaming right now. Um, let's take a look at Discord real quick. Let's see if you're still streaming. Possibly? Maybe? Yes! Okay, nice! We got ourselves a target. We are going to raid Digipichu, who is currently playing... Uh, let me see real quick. They are playing some... Uh, things blocking away. Oh, Age of Empires. Okay. Yeah, well... We'll raid them, and we are going to raid them with hashtag Space Weebs, because that's basically what the Tau and the Warhammer universe are. Let's, uh, let's see real quick. Let's get this 
that up. Go give them some support. Go give them some love. Age of Empires is a really fun, like, uh, time killer R RP, or I guess RTS. I remember playing it a lot back in the day. Go send all the space weebs their way. Oops. Kill the sound there. I will see you all tomorrow night for the continuation of Yakuza 0 with me and the mods. And then... Uh... Maybe a small model kit building stream on Saturday. I don't know. We'll see. Other than that, uh, keep an eye out on the YouTube channel. I uh, should have a new slide video up by the weekend. And other than that, that's all I really have to say. Hope you all have a good night. I will see you all tomorrow, probably around the same time as we started tonight, so 9 p.m. And we'll continue the wild, wacky world of Yakuza. All right. Good night, everybody.